check out the new carts. Looks like some black glass there. Well, my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Land Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, I was on my way home from Lancaster and decided that I would stop in here at the Goodwill on the way home and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Okay, well, there's not a whole lot on the shelves. I don't know if maybe they've been doing some cleansing of the shelves. That's a little frightening. <laughs> but we'll give it our best shot. I started with the brown today because brown is kind of my favorite. Oh, I see some art pottery on the other side. Let's go check it out. Right. We've got some taper candles. Then up here, oh my gosh, look at all that funky art pottery. There's so much of it. It's kind of a um, Gitas. This is, uh, I kind of like that bowl. Is this the same one? Steph Hedges. Yeah, you know what? I think this is probably like school, um, school stuff. <laughs> A really heavy mug. I might put the glaze on that, but I don't know. I don't really see a whole lot of value in these pieces because they're just kind of crudely made. I saw some mugs that actually matched this when I was at the last Goodwill, so it's interesting to find another piece of it here. Let's check out the new cart. Looks like some black glass there. We'll definitely take that. And uh, let's see what else we have in here. Looks like lots of books, lots of books, and there's some uh, Thailand, oh, I just threw that book on the floor, I better pick that up. <laughs> there we go. Alright, Santa Claus down there, a little uh, foosball table. Alright, let's check the other one. Okay, well, let's take this through here. Um, that's kind of a nice butter dish, is it Waterford? Mm. I don't see any markings on that. Sometimes the water for it is very faint and hard to make out, but I don't think it's on there. I'm going to stick this artwork down here to go through the cart. Ooh. Some fun barn. Some fun barn. Some fun yarn. I think Dagny has uh, looked at that before. I think this one might be a knockoff. Probably. What is it? It is. Something, something. Oh, look down there. What is that? Come here, you. You know you want to come out of there. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? It's marked ERS. I think it's made of a resin. But it's made to look like clay. A kitty with a bird on its head. I really like that. And then uh, there's some crystal down in the bottom, so I'm going to try to finagle that out. Like they are just pie plates. They aren't anything special down there. So well, I think we're going to carry on and see what we can find on the actual shelves. This feels like a nice piece. It's very heavy. And um, it's cut. It's not, um, it's cut glass, not molded. It's $4.99. Not sure how I ended up starting over here in the clear section, but... It happened. This is, what is this? Kind of reminds me of an alabrije, but it's not. It's something different. It's made of clay. Cyril. Hmm, interesting. We, ha we have some chips here. So, I don't know that. Looks like Yorktown. Old scrap. Has a chip there on the edge. It's a patriotic looking mug. Liberty Pottery, Ohio 2006, Sarah. Oh, it's a rocky, I don't know where that is, so it would be weird for me to buy the mug and not know where that is. This looks like it belonged with the other pieces. It says SP13 on it. So that was probably with all of the other art pottery pieces and somehow migrated here to this section. He is made from foam. I 
This down here looks like it could be a hobbyist piece. They didn't sign it though. They didn't put their name to it. Looks like a little candle, wax melt. Drink it pop. Looks like their Christmas is slowly disappearing. This is a sweet little mug. That is a Ray Dunn mug for $1.99. I love the little scene on there with them roasting marshmallows. Uh, you know, this is probably worth like eight, eight to 12, unless it's a special Ray Dunn, but so a lot of the generic stuff, that's what it sells for. Uh, this, I also pulled out of the bin for $1.99. I missed it the first time I went through. This is a sweet little um, folk art looking piece. I'm surprised there's hardly anyone here, but at the same time, there's not a whole lot to be found. So I don't know though, they are restocking. I like this little mug, but there is a chip on the edge and it's just a single. If there was more, I'd probably consider it. There's a sweet little piggy there. I'm not sure who makes that, but they've got $2.99 on it. You can see there is a bit of a hairline crack there. So unfortunately, I'll probably leave him behind. When I look at him, I see $8 to $12. But if he's a special brand that I don't know of, um, maybe he's Shawnee or something, he could be worth a little bit more. When I look at things, I just generalize like, oh, this is a planter and this is the average selling price of a planter. And then I try to incorporate who's, who it's made by or what brand it is. And sometimes it can go one way or the other. Okay. That little bowl is reverse painted. It's not actually blue. And it looks like Niagara Falls. I have, let's look at it upside down and see what it is. Looks like it could be a Starbucks. No, it's a Dunkin' Donuts mug. I didn't know Dunkin' Donuts made mugs like this. Interesting. I guess they kind of, uh, either they copied Starbucks or Starbucks copied them. It probably went one way or the other. I was kind of hoping to find some vintage Valentine's Day here in the red section, but I don't think it's going to happen. I actually just pulled one of these off the third floor. It was pretty dusty, but... What is this? Bun's bouquet. That's weird. I don't even know what to say about that. This is a pretty tumbler. It's missing its lid. I wonder if that would have been Starbucks or something. I think it would have had a lid on it. That's a really nice design. They've got $4.99 on it. Without the lid, I'm just not really sure what I could do with that. Alright, well I think we're going to probably be getting out of here. Didn't find a whole lot today, but we got a few good things. Oh, I stuck these in the cart as I was talking to someone. <laughs> I was like, oh, look at those. Um, I don't think I showed you. Uh, $2.99 each. They still have Made in China stickers on them, but I love that cobalt blue glass. It's just absolutely fantastic. Um, so we're going to take those. And uh, that's pretty much it that you didn't see. We got a few good things today. It was nothing epic. But I will get back to you in the car with our total spend. Okay, well our total spend there at the Goodwill today was right around $27. I feel like we got some pretty decent pieces. We didn't get anything crazy. Nothing amazing. But I'm happy with everything I got. I really love those candlesticks. And that resin cat was really fun. Um, it is resin. It's made to look primitive. Uh, but I really liked it. So I think we're going to get out of here now. Um, obviously, I'm not going to cut you guys off right here. We are here at the shop today and I have a few projects that I need to address today. First of all, this office. <laughs> For those of you who have not been here before, this is my office and clearly it needs to be addressed. <laughs> Got a pile of legs in the middle of the floor for instance, you know. Not many people have a, a whole pile of legs in the middle of their floor. So I also, um, Andrew uncovered the doors to my cabinet the other day. So that's really great. Now I just have to find the shelving for it because it was all in that corner with all the other stuff. 
Um, I have all of my <laughs> treasures up here. And uh, I bought a new desk at auction that I want to put right there in place of that plastic table. So I want to get that moved in here today. Here is the base to the desk, but Andrew unloaded the truck last night by himself, so I think he probably couldn't manage to get the, the top in. Um, this is a Dansk desk from Denmark. Um, I'll show you guys the top when it gets brought in, but um, it's a beautiful desk. They usually sell between $2,500 and $3,500. I paid $1,500 for it, uh, but eventually down the road, I can resell it. That was kind of my... My thought process behind it and it's perfect it's the perfect height well no it's not the perfect height it's the perfect size but i am gonna have to put it on risers because like look how i don't think you realize how short that is like if that was my knee <laughs> i really feel like um i'm gonna have to put it on risers a little bit because i'm very tall now this is everything we purchased at auction yesterday so i have to process all of these boxes today and get them out of the way um this right here was about seven thousand dollars worth of merchandise including the desk which like i said was about fifteen hundred uh so we have to get this processed. we have to get this out on the shelf so that we can list it and we can recoup our money and then make some profit because that's the name of the game so i just pulled this little bear out and I showed this on uh, the video of the $7,000 auction haul. And I noticed that it's got this rough pontal on the bottom. It's not really a pontal. I guess it was it was molded. So this is like a mold mark. It's really sharp. And I don't think I've ever seen that on a piece of fenton. So that has me second guessing whether this is fenton or not. They may have used the same mold. But I don't, I've never seen that rough spot like that. So... That's interesting. All right, so I emptied a ton of boxes onto the shelves here. You guys saw most of this stuff in the 7,000 haul video. Uh, I, ran, I actually ran out of space to put more stuff on the shelves. So there are still uh, four or five boxes over there that need to be gone through. Um, but this is pretty much what we've got for now. Uh, I got a lot of the art pottery out on the shelf. Uh, a few of my favorite pieces, this one, and this one is Lapide of Israel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Down here, this is the Princess of Spain. I think that's modeled after this one. It's absolutely so cool <laughs> with the abstract. I believe it's Raku, not 100% on that. And the bowl that it's actually sitting inside some really cool designs on it then we have the crystalline this one and the lily pad and uh tim took some stuff off to go and list it so it looks like i have a little bit more room to work with he took a lot of the fenton so i could probably load some more stuff on the shelves but i'm not sure we're gonna get to that today we also have the murano lamp dina was pretty impressed with this and i honestly am pretty impressed with this piece as well it's a beautiful piece that opaline glass does appear to have a little bit of oxidation there, which I was surprised about because it's in such great condition. But love that piece. Um, probably going to be a buy it now. And uh, yeah, let's talk about my office and the situation in here because it's it's not good. <laughs> I have this beautiful mid-century desk, and I have it on bed risers because I can't cross my legs under the desk when it doesn't have the bed risers. But it's also a beautifully, aesthetically pleasing desk, which is completely ruined by the bed risers. So I think I'm going to have to take them off. Um, this actually folds up like this. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe I should keep it like that. And I could put my monitor up on the top. Um, I don't know what the back of it looks like. I mean, the back isn't that great because I was going to... Oh, look, there's a secret cubby. Oh, you can put stuff in there and hide it. I just told all of YouTube I'm going to hide stuff in the back of my desk. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of a weird situation here because I thought about flipping it so that it was facing the door, but also the back of the desk isn't the nicest. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. 
but I think I'm going to definitely get rid of this table because I was using it for hauls and I don't really do very many hauls in my office anymore. So I think having this table is really, um, there's no reason for it anymore. So I'm going to mess with this for maybe another 30 minutes, try to get it to a point where I'm satisfied with it. And then I'm going to get out of here and go film at Goodwill or something. And this is where I put the table. I had to take it apart and then I had to put it back together to get it out here. Uh, we have this, these labels on it. Dina was on top of it as soon as it came over here. She put the, please keep clear, because this is going to be for processing. Uh, the sink is right here. So it just it kind of works out that way. All right, well, the final touch was hanging up those two pieces there. If you've been on the channel a while, you can probably remember where I purchased those. It was like two years ago at the bins. And I actually bought the artwork separate, and then I found the frames, and they just happened to fit. Um, so my, my dad put them together for me, and uh, they've been sitting here at the shop. So that's what that is. And I finally got them up on the wall. Okay, well, this is the finished look. I feel like I got a lot accomplished today. I thought about putting more artwork on that back wall, but the reason I painted it black is because I wanted to do videos and it just makes more sense to have a black backdrop than a bunch of artwork on it. So the owls can stay because they look pretty cool on that wall. But, all right. I still have one bed riser stuck under the desk. I, I, ooh, and I'm tripping over legs. Every time I come in my office, I'm tripping over these legs. I don't know whose idea this was. <laughs> uh, Andrews? <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.